There's ways how we want life and there's how we get it. I've realized that when it comes to living, it can be either the most beautiful blossoming rose you ever see or it's like the pits of hell. There's this contradiction to us as society where we say we like this but don't like this but then we switch it up and we agree with this and I agree with this and I know someone's going to look at this and think so how was her life how did it end up was she miserable was she happy what happened she felt all these emotions and created all these videos but how did she really think how did it in really end up? And for me, I realized growing up, I always loved asking people, what is the meaning to life to you? I love seeing the world through different perspectives, seeing how people saw what you see on a daily basis becomes interesting after a while. And then I remember I asked myself, what is the meaning to life? And it changed with every time I asked myself or asked somebody. And there's no definite answer. There's no definite answer to love, to happiness, to money, to success. There's just this ideology, this thought, this hope of what everything is. But when you look at, for example, my content. There are days where I'm making you feel so amazing about yourself and so beautiful. And then there are other days where I'm crying and self-deprecating and trying to understand where to put my next footing or where to go or questioning everything that I've ever done or ever said in existence. There's moments where I downplay love but I love so hard or I pray for richness and have nothing so I don't want anybody to ever think why are you sending all these mixed messages for me um, I had to reset and go back to God and just tell him that I was thankful for all the prayers that he's listened to I was thankful for him being there for me because I don't think we as humans realize if you believe in manifestation or religion I don't think we realize how many times we pray or how many times we ask for something or try to manifest something and we get the things that we deserve and we get the things that we desire and we never show appreciation it's more like oh i get it and i got something so i'm gonna move on to the next one i want to move on to the next thing and never take the time to acknowledge that you got what you prayed for two years ago or you got what you prayed for a week ago and it's now in your hands or the opportunity has arrived and you're not appreciative because you thought this was something that you deserved You thought this was something that was supposed to come to you and no, it was a favor. No, it was a gift. And I think recently I just had to sit back personally and and acknowledge myself that, oh my God, everything that I have ever asked for did come to me and I appreciate it. In the times where I quote unquote was ungrateful or unacknowledgeable, bad things started to happen drama started to stir people started to leave and i always will wonder why why when good would come into my life why when amazing things would come into my life they would go and because i never appreciated them like i should have i never loved them like i should have so them leaving me and disappearing out of my life was the universe saying the only way you can care about something is if i take it away from you The only way you could see that you had something was if I take it away from you. And so when people look and wonder, how was it? How was life? How was the journey? 
Did you ever make it to the finish line? No, not yet. But regardless of what happens to me, regardless of the trials and tribulations and the beautiful moments and the memories that I collect over the years, life was good because whether if I get the million dollar mansion and the career that I desire and the love and the attention that I want or I just spend the rest of my life with my family and just live comfortably regardless of what happens if I make change or I don't if I save myself or if I don't I lived a good life because I had myself and I had you guys and I have my family and I have abundance, abundance amount of love around me and happiness and laughter and beauty. And I know that when it comes to society, we have this idea of what we want our life to look like, regardless if it's us wanting to go to Ivy League school or going to college or get in some type of job or starting a family being in a relationship or being an entrepreneur but we all live with this idea of what we want our lives to look like but our paths aren't certain I've seen with my own eyes doctors become dog trainers I've seen athletes become lawyers and the list goes on so just because we live through life and we have these ups and downs and we have these contradictions of what's right or what's wrong or what to stand for and what to not and what to fight for. It doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you a walking contradiction. That's just life. Life is a contradiction. It's one minute loving daisies and the next loving roses. One minute loving money, next minute loving simplistic lifestyle. It's no wrong or right way to live. It's just, what can I do to survive? What can I do to get to the end? What can I do to be happy? And what might make you happy or what you might desire at 20, you might not desire at 30. And what you might have worked for at 30, you might not work for at 70. But that doesn't mean that your lifestyle or your life was a bad one or unvaluable. It just means you lived. And I I want everybody to know you're allowed to feel how how you feel at all walks of life. You can be confused at 50. You can be confused at 70 or 30 or at 10 years old. Don't ever let society make you feel like you need to have something under control and structured a certain way by a certain age. I hate that people at 25 or 24 feel like they need to have their own house, have their own car, have this good credit score, and live this amazing life when it's not true. Society has changed so much since the 70s, 80s, the 90s. It's not that easy just to get your own place at 23 years old and have it fully paid off and have 30 cars in the yard and be a millionaire. It's not that easy. And I don't want anybody to feel like it should be easy. And it's okay to be 50 years old and still not know what you want to do. And still trying to find yourself regardless if if it's in your career or sexuality or your love or if it's going back and going to get more college and for the people that have never went to college don't let society make you feel bad because you never got further education because you never went the traditional route life literally has no guidebook it literally has no answers to it i've seen people go down a route that everyone has told them to go down and still be unhappy they were successful but they were unhappy i've seen people go off the beaten path and do more success and be more happy than somebody that was told to do something else 
So don't ever feel like you need to follow something to a T. Or you need to do this, this, and this, and this to be seen or to be heard or to feel loved or to not to lose the things that are in your life. That's one thing I'm noticing. People are going to come and go. People will forever leave. But you will forever have yourself. And you will forever have the things that you accomplished and you worked hard for. And don't live your life through somebody else because of fear or shame or the the fear of being disappointed by the ones you loved. I tell people all the time, I will listen to every feedback you give me. I will listen to every opinion, to every sit down, every lecture. But at the end of the day, the life I live is the life I live. And if I spend the next 30 years chasing after something you wanted me to do, that will leave me 40 years of my life fighting to be what I wanted. And I guess the message I'm trying to send through this is that I want everyone to get to the end of their finish line and realize that they lived their life more than they thought they did. I want everybody to reflect on the things they have ever done or said or felt and feel happy and feel grateful and feel amazing about the experiences they collected on this earth and understand the mark they left, whether it was big or not, whether if it was known or not. I want everyone to know their importance on this planet, even if you made a a name for yourself or didn't. Just know you're going to send a lot of mixed messages going through and people are going to question you a lot and people are going to look at you sideways and leave, but we're humans. We contradict. We are hypocrites, narcissists. We're confusing. We're lost. We're alone. We want to be loved. We want to be seen. We want to make other people happy. We're opportunists. We're everything under the sun. But at the end of the day, we're human. And I think when we allow ourselves to just be human and not have this expectation or this stamp over our head, we will understand the freedom we truly have when it comes to living life, when it comes to having a life. So appreciate the small things that you get. Appreciate the big things because... The moment they're gone, there is no getting them back. There is no appreciating them like you should have at once, one time. Achieve the things you will achieve in your lifetime and just be blessed with that and cherish that wherever you go. Walk in your own footsteps and be proud in the things you do. I love you.